The chief of the Commission on Higher Education explains why the senior high school program in state universities and colleges was discontinued. This and other stories in tonight's national news wrap up. The Commission on Higher Education, or CHED chairperson, Prospero de Vera, explained why the senior high school program in state universities and colleges, or SUCs, was discontinued. He disclosed the transition period is already complete. SUCs are already full, and those learning institutions need to use the classrooms while the teachers assigned to the said program need to be redeployed to fill the need of the learning entities. Aside from this, the agreement between the Department of Education or DepEd and CHED has already lapsed. Yan eh, pag-uusapan natin yung DepEd yan. Baka namang pwedeng i-extend yung voucher for at least one year para sa mga estudyante kung sila ay natanggap na. No? Pero hindi ko ayaw kong pangunahan yan na titignan muna natin kung ano ang magiging desisyon ng mga board of regents ng mga universities. Kasi merong mga ibang public universities Hindi naman sila tumatanggap na ng voucher. The Anti-Red Tape Authority, or ARTA, focused on further expediting and improving the processing of government transactions in 2023. ARTA Secretary Ernesto Pera said the agency will continue the implementation of its e-boss or electronic business one-stop shop program, which has earned the approval of business owners as the processing of their transactions with government was reduced to an average of one hour. Malinaw po ang mandato ng Anti-Red Tape Authority Malinaw po ang direktiba ng ating mahal na Pangulo, Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. na patuloy na paigtingin, pabilisin ang serbisyo. Makipagtulungan po tayo. We are one nation. We love this country. We want this country to improve. And no less than our private stakeholders, even foreign chambers, ambassadors are upbeat about the economic prospects of this country. So we cannot go wrong with this. As long as we continue to unite and help this country move forward, this will definitely uh, improve our economic uh, uh, conditions in the country and we're looking at a much better year 2024 for the country, mm. for the Filipino people. The Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, or BFAR, prioritized the improvement of condition and lives of fisher folk in the country. BFAR spokesperson Nazario Brigera stated the government implemented programs to boost capture fisheries, aquaculture and post-harvest for fishermen. Si Pangulong Bongbong Marcos Jr. mismo po ang nag-aproba nito. Uh, ito po ay nagkakahalaga ng 11 billion pesos na proyekto. No po? At ito po ay ipapatupad din natin ngayong taon. Ang magiging direction po nito ay ang pagkakaroon ng diversification ng livelihood sa ating mga mangingisda. Magpapatup magpapatayo po tayo ng mga infrastructures katulad ng mga uh, cold storage facilities. And uh, of course, yung mga uh, climate resilient technologies. So pakikinabangan po ito ng mahigit sa isang milyon na mga mangisda sa 24 provinces at 11 regions. Sharms Espina for the nation.